Now we've got a pretty good edit. There's only one more thing that I want to add that you typically want to know how to do in a standard edit using Premiere Pro, and that is a transition. So let's take a look at that. Now with the transitions, what we're basically dealing with is how we get from one clip to another. And right now, we're just using a straight cut. We end on one video file and start right up on the next one. Now we could use the transparency controls and have one fade out, but that would be a lot of work to set it up for all of these clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the effects panel. Now mine's up here on the screen, but if you're not seeing yours, you can just go up to the Windows menu and open up effects. And one of the effects is video transitions. We've got a whole bunch of these, so I'm just going to pick out a couple of them that we can play with. So you get the idea of how they work. These are pretty easy to work with, so I'm just going to go down here to the wipe section. Okay, and you see we've got a whole bunch of different categories of different types of wipes that we could use. Checkerboard ones, radial wipes. I'm going to use a very simple one, and that's just called wipe down here at the bottom. Now to use one of these is really easy. You just drag it out of the effects menu, and I'll drop it on top of my video right in between the two. Now notice I can set it all on one video clip, like I have here on the shaving movie, or I can push it all the way over on the ski ridge clip. But by placing it in the middle, it's actually creating a transition between the two. When I drop the clip right there, you'll see a little indicator showing wipe. And, without doing anything else, I can just scrub across that area, and you see that we now have a wipe transition going from one clip to the other. Transitions are pretty much as easy as that. Now they do have some more settings on them, and to access the settings, you can just select the transition and double click it, and it will open up our effect controls panel up here at the top. Now you can see mine's tabbed with our source monitor, and this gives me all the controls I need to be able to change this transition around. Now there's two main things that I'm going to look at in setting up a transition. The first one is how long the transition takes. By default, we've got a one second transition in here. Now that's 30 frames, or probably more correctly, 29.97 frames. You can see that it's one of those same controllers that we saw in our titling window. So to change the duration, I can either type in a value, or I can click and drag left and right to increase or decrease the duration. Now I'm just going to leave it at one because one second is actually pretty good for a transition between two video clips like this. The second thing I can do in the wipe transition is I can change the direction. Notice it wiped from left to right and that's because this little arrow is selected in our controls. The tooltip says west to east, but you get the idea. If I want it to be a diagonal transition, I can just click on one of the other arrows and if I scrub through the transition, you can see now I have a diagonal transition. Now there's tons of transitions in here, and each one will have a little bit different controls. And in most cases, you can figure out what kinds of things you can change in each one of them. In general, I like to keep things pretty simple. I kind of think of transitions as fonts. You don't want to use too many of them inside of one project. Things will start looking a little bit jumbled. So if I'm going to use wipes, I'll generally use a family of wipes throughout all of my different projects. My favorite transition is actually a nice clean one under the Dissolve menu and it's called Cross Dissolve. It simply dissolves from one screen to another like a fade. And to use it, I can just drag it out and actually drop it right on top of the last transition we made and it'll replace that transition with our new Cross Dissolve. Now let's see how that looks. I'll scrub across it. And you can see we get a nice clean fade. Now I'd like to set transitions up on each one of the places where we change from one video to another. And I could set that up just by dragging out the cross dissolve and dropping it on each one just like we did for the first one. But I'd like to show you a little bit faster method for this. It involves using a default transition. Now actually cross dissolve is set as the default transition when you first open Premiere. And that's indicated by the red outline around it. But if you'd like to change any other transition to the default one, you can simply use the option menu up here at the top and you can set the default transition and you can change the default transition to any one of the transitions in the video transitions palette. You can also set the default transition duration which is set to one second as we saw before. Now since ours is already set up we don't need to do anything but to use it what we need to do is move our playhead to each one of the edit points so let me just click away to close that menu and as I move to each one of the edit points here I can use control D or command D on the Macintosh to add a default transition. Now, do you remember these tools here that move me to the edit points? 
I can just click that. You can see my cursor automatically move to the edit point, and I'll hit Control D, Command D on the Macintosh, and you can see it added a transition there for me. Now there's one other thing we need to know about transitions, and that is I need to have overlapping footage in order for the transition to work properly. You'll notice this transition dropped in only on the tent horizon side. Now when we first set each one of these clips into our timeline, we set in and out points for most of them. But for some of the clips, I have the in point right at the beginning of the clip. In order for a transition to work properly, let me take a look at this one over here and actually let me zoom up on it just a little bit. You can see that the transition goes across both of them, and if I'm going to end up with a really clean cross dissolve, I need enough footage on the first clip to cover all the way to the end of the transition, which actually means I need a little overlap on both of these. In our Tent Horizon movie, that's going to be the end of my clip, so I don't have any overlap left, and I can't set the transition up to cover both areas. In fact, we'll see this even more if I drag out a cross dissolve and drop it onto that area. You can see from the icon that it's indicating that I don't have enough footage to overlap the first one. So let's just change that really quickly. Now I know I have some footage at the end, so I'm just going to use my drag tools here to shorten up the footage at the beginning. Now I have this much footage left over, and we'll just drag this over and extend our footage out at the end. Now when I bring in a cross dissolve, I can bring in a cross dissolve and set it up over both of those video elements. Now here's the other neat thing about using transitions. I'd also like to fade my titles in. Well, let me just go over here to find our next edit point, and you'll notice that is the beginning of the title. If I want to use my keyboard shortcut, I need to select Video Track 2 in order to target that track, and then just press Control D or Command D and you can see that it added a cross dissolve to the beginning. Now since I'm not using this over two pieces of footage, let me just scrub with my playhead here, and you see what we get is a cross dissolve of the title coming in, or a simple fade. Now using this technique, what I want to do is just spread cross dissolves throughout the entire sequence. I want to fade in each title and cross dissolve each transition from one movie clip to another. I'll press my home key, that'll move my timeline back to the beginning, and the only thing we'll have to worry about is targeting which video track we want the cross dissolve in. Here I'll click on video 1, and I'll hit Control D, and that will add a cross dissolve to the beginning of my movie. And of course what that'll give me is a nice fade in at the beginning. You can see how we're fading up from black for that first video clip. Now let me set up all the cross dissolves in the titles first real quick. So I'm just going to target video track 2, click on that. I'll use my next edit point button, and Control D, and I'll set one at the beginning of that title and at the end of the title and I'll just click next edit until I get to the next title that one already has a cross dissolve so we'll go to the end of that title and hit control D again and then we'll move over to our dragging title, do the same and finally our envision title here we'll set that one up now I'll just drag these other ones in since I can see them right here, I want one at my Polar Bears movie, and one at the Wave movie, and let me just scroll back and make sure I've hit everything else. I think we need the Ski Across movie transition there as well. And now in each case, we've got nice fades for our video and our title instead of abrupt cuts. Now you can play around with your edits as much as you want, but I'm going to call mine done for right now. 